Hello there. So last time I went to Germany, I did spend some time. I did a day trip to uh, Salzburg at some point. I also did a trip to Neuschwanstein. Last time I was in Berlin, I went to Dresden. So today I'm actually going to be taking a trip to a popular spot that Berliners like to go. It's actually on the S-Bahn. It's called Potsdam. It's actually the capital of Brandenburg, I believe, which is a nearby Stadt. So it's basically like Berlin without all of the dirt, I've heard. <laughs> I've not been. Let's go. Uh, ich möchte eine blauen Ecke Frischkäse, ja. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Me, I am so confused. It says right here, Potsdam, S7, downstairs. It's absolutely not that way. I just talked to an employee and she told me it was actually Gleis 2, the second one, so. Oh, no. All right, so I've made it to Potsdam. Wow, it's uh, very big, as in, <laughs> feels very spacious. <laughs> Everything's so, I don't know, triumphant. I don't know how to describe this. I mean, this, this alone, look at this absolute Chad. It's just, uh, yeah, everything's magnificent. So uh, my first thought, I heard that uh, Potsdam is really good for coffee. So I'm going to be heading to a roastery called Buena Vida, which of course is Spanish. All right. Also, extra context. I was really, really sick yesterday. Don't know what happened, but I was out the whole day with this massive uh, migraine and or nausea where I kept on nearly driving the porcelain bus. Is that... <laughs> I learned a German expression recently. Uh, yeah, very awful. Somehow I'm doing a little bit better today, but that's why it's such a late start. Seems we've got lots of uh, construction at the moment. From my research, with only about four hours to spend in Potsdam today, my plan is to hit up the Dutch Quarter, the Dutch Viertel. Basically, it's an area of Potsdam that really looks a bit Dutch, like Amsterdam. So that'll be cool. I uh, also want to hit up a really famous, well-known garden, massive uh, Schloss and Space and then see what else I can just find when I'm out and about. <laughs> All right. So I think I've said this before already, but the coffee in Germany, fuck, it's just so good. It, that was like one of the best flat whites I've had in a very long time. So Buena Vida Coffee Club. Wow. All right, off to the Dutch Quarter. So the Dutch Quarter is only like four little squares, but it's made up of 134 red brick Dutch style two-story buildings. And there's loads of little shops here, loads of little restaurants, ice cream places, places to buy secondhand clothes and such. And it's really adorable. It was built in the 1700s by a very famous Dutch architect. And uh, yeah, it's actually completely different to the other architectural styles of Potsdam. So it's quite unique and quite beautiful. So this palace or Schloss is one of the biggest reasons people come to visit Potsdam. It's like number one on the old TripAdvisor. Just a really, really beautiful park, really well manicured, absolutely massive. <laughs> so many plants, so many interesting designs that lead up to this. Worth a little visit. I'm going to have a little explore.
big door. Right. Even though I have a Deutschland ticket, I have not been using the public transit that I am entitled to. Because I'm just enjoying walking in the city, so I've made it to the Sansuki Palace Gardens. Massive, massive, beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. So odd of me. <laughs> this is just a nice place to walk around, I've heard, and wow. Good season to go, I say. Wow. This is a really beautiful place. I just took such an amazing photo, uh, telescopic with the old, sorry, telephoto lens here. And I got a couple that is essentially doing some sort of pregnancy reveal photo. And I was able to like capture it from super far away with a much better backdrop. So I went over to them and was like, hey, by the way, here you go. Uh, so I'll be sending them the photos so they can do with it what they will. Huh. Couldn't have chosen a better day to come to Potsdam. I carry so much kit. <laughs> oh, wow, all right. After ages of walking, I've made it to the Bushaltestelle here. Oh boy, I'm finally gonna take the public transit. Getting on a bus, Park Sansuki. Really lovely time. <laughs> oh, well, putting in the steps. <laughs> There's the bus going the other way. All right, I did it. You can go with a little falafel tonight. Ooh, all right, I have put my steps in. I'm back from Potsdam and it is whoa, now the next day. So I'm going to be melding the bit of Potsdam into this final week leading up to uh, when Heather comes to visit me. And then hopefully I get into the Berghain. I'm a bit concerned I won't get in because I don't I don't have the type of get up, the, the type of outfit that m most people say you're meant to wear. I have lots of black, if that's literally it, but I feel like it's more like mesh and it's more like edgy. I don't have anything edgy. I don't even like, I don't even know what shoes. I don't want to have to put on something that's not me to get into the place that I'd like to party at and feel comfortable in. So I'm just gonna go as myself and hopefully that works out. Also, I've been going around town like or city rather, <laughs> been going around quite a bit, filming lots that now that I've fully scripted my video about the pros and cons of living in Berlin, just filming things that I know I need B-roll of to really add engagement to the video. Uh, this is just behind the scenes because I only have a month that I'm here. So I really need to know what I need to capture to really make the video much better. So it's not just me sitting in front of a camera like this. No, now it's, oh, I talk about how there's lots of trash, find trash, which isn't that difficult. Literally walk for two minutes and I'll find like, dog poo. Uh, so lots of different things to go out and get shots of. Uh, but yeah, it's really exciting. I'm very, very, I'm just very thankful I'm here. Very much so. Anyway, I'm going to head to the gym and get some of my gains, or at least try not to lose them. So maintains. <laughs> I guess he's not going to stop for me. That's cool. 
Oh, he's stopping over that way. That's cool. Hello. So this is my third week in Berlin now, and I've yet to have a Berlin beer. I actually have had a couple Munich ones just because I really enjoy Bavarian beer. This is a brand I've seen when going out and about. Berliners might laugh and be like, that one's terrible. I actually don't know. But I've seen Berliner Kindle um, with, a little, with a little kid. All right. Uh, I'll give it a shot. You know what? <laughs> it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Oh, sweet. I'm really excited. This was just a light one. Uh, I've got, also I decided, I went to the Reve, or the Reve, 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 I don't know. For some reason, I basically name a lion, but I went to the Reve today, which is basically like their Tesco. It's like a nice big shop, really nice quality stuff in there. Bought some food, my groceries for the final two weeks here. Some nice bratwurst, some Weisswurster, you know, I just really miss Weisswurster. I need to find some frozen pretzels. And when I went to get one frozen pizza, I did it specifically because Dr. Otker's a huge brand over here, and they only give us like three of them in the UK. But they had one where I immediately went, Ugh, oh God, shuddered. Twinfish. Tuna fish on a pizza. It's really popular here. And as much as I recoiled, I went, you know what? I'm in a different country here to experience different culture, even though it, it appalls me. I have bought one, and it is now in the oven, and I shall soon taste tuna fish pizza. Exciting. This does look a bit overcooked. Listen, this is, um... <sighs> I followed the instructions, kind of, almost. Oh god, that's hard. Okay. Hmm. I don't want it. As in, it's not awful. I just don't want the taste of tuna on this pizza. But like, I'm like, oh, tuna, mm, the consistency of pizza, together. I don't want it, but I've tried it and I will eat this whole pizza still. <laughs> you can't say no to pizza. So I'm on the hunt for really, really, really fast Wi-Fi because I have a 450 gigabyte video file to upload if I'm gonna have my friend help uh, edit a video so that I have more time to edit more Berlin videos. Um, but 450 gigs. It's quite large, and in order to upload that to my server in London, with under seven hours, I would have to have speeds of about 160 megabits per second, which is quite fast. Uh, in, in Berlin, at this very big library in the center, I was able to get 130 if I was standing directly underneath of it, and that, that would still take me to like 9 p.m. Uh, the, the place that I started my trip in Berlin with, there's a cafe that I found 150 at the speed. That might have to be the one I go to, so... Gonna sit in a cafe for a couple hours, do some work. Today, I'm gonna be doing something a little scary. For me, at least. Something that is, yet again, a cultural decision. A decision to do something that is outside of my normal comfort zone, that is totally cool in another country, such as trying simple tuna fish on pizza. You might say, that's not that big of a comfort zone change. Cool. You're right. I didn't like it, but I tried it. Today, today I'm going to a sauna. Now, I've been to a sauna. I've been to a real one in Tampere, Finland. The video is above. Phenomenal time. But that one, it was totally down with bathing suits and such. Swimmers. Togs. Board shorts. Oh, no. Germany prefers die Nachtkultur. You know, a little bit of that the nudity. And this is just at a public gym. Uh, I had a little chat with the guy that works there, and I was like, so what are the rules for the sauna? And he was like, you gotta bring a towel. And I was like, oh, sweet. You guys love your towels. I I'm good. I can wear the towel. He went... No, not for you. You must be naked. And I was like, what? You have to have the towel under you. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Today, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because you got you to gotta do stuff that's different every once in a while. You know, you can't just judge a book by the size of its 75-year-old penis. You, you've just got to grab it. <laughs> No, I'm just gonna cut that out. You just gotta try, okay? You, just, you, gotta, you gotta try things that are different. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not gonna film there. I'll be right back. I'll tell you how my experience goes. I'm gonna go to the gym, do lift some weights, and then sauna, naked sauna. I'd love to hear if you've been to a public naked sauna before. Tell me, tell me how you think of it. If you're from an outside culture, I would like to know. All right, here we go.
After a bit more walking, I've made it to the first time I've seen parts of the Berlin Wall since moving to Berlin. And it's actually right here in front of the Potsdamer Platz station. It's got lots of history next to it. It's quite nice. You can touch it. But it, I wouldn't touch it. It's mostly gum. I was, is, there, there you go. <laughs> And that's the end of my Potsdam slash Berlin week three vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. In terms of the sauna, I know I committed quite a mortal German sin of not showering directly after the sauna, but you know what? I did just feel uncomfortable just, I don't know, being out and about in the middle of that shower area. So I just got dressed after drying off, which was, to be honest, very gross immediately headed back and took a shower because I needed it. Otherwise, this is another vlog where I'm trialing this, uh, just kind of messing around with a new style. And this one, as you've noticed, doesn't have as much music, but I wanted to throw in a lot of the photos that I've been taking because I, I just, I don't really have anywhere else to put the photos and I enjoy taking photos so much when I'm traveling. So I threw them in with a little music to be like, look what I did. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little one. A uh, nice little calm, relaxing vlog. I've got one more for you coming from Berlin uh, with Heather's presence a present in my life. So uh, hopefully I'll see you then whenever I upload that, hopefully in the next week or two. See you then. Goodbye.